Namaskar and a very good morning. Welcome to the webcast from Codex Securities. I'm your host and guide Anindya Banerjee. It has been an eventful overnight and it's going to be an eventful next 24 hours. US stock markets closed marginally in the red. However, the US economic data was stellar. Private sector jobs grew close to a million, beating estimates. And the services sector index called the ISM it also clocked a record high. A combination of two suggests that the US economy is doing excellently well and today the focus is going to be on the US jobs data which is going to be out after our markets close in the evening. Though the expectation is uh, below a million but there are there is a, is a possibility that uh, US may show a job growth of over a million for the month of May. If that is the case, and a very across the board growth in uh, uh, wage and etc. happens, then dollar can rise further. But it's not just the US jobs data which is going to be market moving. We have to turn our ad attention to India because RBI monetary policy is on the anvil. RBI has primarily three policy objectives. First, to stimulate growth. Second, to ensure stability of the financial sector. Third, to control inflation. Last year, growth was in jeopardy after the first wave and a complete lockdown all over the country. Financial sector stability was also in question. Both has been handled excellently well. Inflation was not a problem and still not a problem. Yes, it is sticking up and down. It is going up and down because of the commodity price rise and other uh, transitory issues. But inflation is not a real uh, problem at this point in time. But growth has taken a hit over the past couple of months due to the ongoing rolling lockdowns in various parts of the country. As a result of which, a couple of things may happen. First, RBI will not only downgrade its assessment of the economic growth for FY22, it may announce a couple of measures targeted toward the NBFC sector to provide relief to that sector as well as to the uh, end, end users of their uh, credit. At the same time, RBI may announce a new asset purchase program. It's called uh, GSAP under which uh, and this uh, it will be the second one, the second version of that, GSAP 2.0. Under the first plan, they bought close to 60,000 crores of government bonds. This was being done to ensure that the government interest rates or the government bond yields don't rise beyond a point. Because if the government bond yields begins to rise, it will have an up, it will exert an upward pressure on the interest rates across the country for private sector as well, which is harmful for the economy. So we are anticipating that RBA will announce a large scale over a lakh crore of GSAP 2.0 to support the bond market. Now, last time when they announced GSAP 1.0, we saw a very sharp depreciation in the rupee because whenever the central bank announces uh, a plan to buy bonds it is generally seen as negative for the currency and that how it uh, played out but that doesn't mean the same is going to play out again because at that time it was unexpected and hence the impact was large this time it is expected so focus will be on the quantum of announcement we may see a mild depreciation but not anything close to what we saw uh, last time having said that what's different uh, from last time to this time is there is a massive short uh, positions which we talked about even yesterday on the out of money call options so close to 3 lakh crores of or oh, sorry uh, 3 lakh contracts of uh, uh, call options have been uh, written on the uh, weekly and monthly series between strikes between 73.25 to 73.5 now these uh, sellers have not been tested yet but in case dollar rupee begins to trade above 73 half it can create a problem for uh, the option sellers and if they come into the market to cover their shots it can 
put an even bigger upward pressure on the uh, on the dollar rupee so therefore uh, technically 73 half is just not a chart level it is important from the options perspective so immediate range on the dollar rupee is expected between 73 half to 72.90 a, a very large and a, and a broad range uh, but if 73 half breaks then and the dollar rupee begins to trade and sustain above that then go long for even 74 20 30 levels uh, as of now as long as the range is intact you can sell near the top side of the range uh, with a stop above because as i said that's an important resistance and one should not be short if a uh, breakout happens and cover those shots near 73 and 72 90 because that zone is a major support area and even uh, looking at the options which have been uh, written the out of money puts 73 put has a quite a large open interest so this area is going to act as a support on the international currencies uh, euro inr and pound inr is will continue to trade in a range bound manner euro may traverse within a range of 88.5 to 88.95 yeah, pound inr may uh, operate within a range of 102.95 to 103.45 and yen we continue to be bearish so in jpy inr we expect uh, the pair to continue to slide down but at a slower place so it may operate within a range of 66.2 to 66.60 so that's it folks this is anindya banerjee signing off until we uh, meet again